Good morning. How are we doing? So I'm doing everything right, but not losing weight. This is something that I hear a lot um, and is a part of a journey, if I'm honest. And I want to touch on this today because quite often it's it depends where we're at and what our expectations are, where our goals are and what we've tried before. So when we consider firstly, and I've, I've touched on the scales a lot recently, the weighing scales, the the pros of them, the cons of them, that they're one measure and that if you're training, for example, this could offset it because of potential muscle, potential, lots of things in there, your carbohydrate intake for every gram of carbohydrate or glycogen, you store four grams of water. So again, you're going to be storing more. So that's why rapid weight loss can often happen in low carb diets. Not that that's the only reason, but one of the reasons why weight fluctuations can happen there, the amount of water you drink, the fiber, you have all of these things impacting it. Now, the problem with that is, is potentially if you're relying on all of your success by the scales, you could be really annoyed if that one measure just doesn't go the way that you want it to. And really, you're not 100% in control of that. So I would advise you do two other things in the short term is to one, take a measurement around your belly button and the widest part of your hips. So you can also get your waist to hip ratio, which I talked about before, and how this is a good measure and a risk factor of disease, um, perhaps more so than um, weight, potentially. Um, so, and, and very much an indicator of fat around, like visceral fat potentially, and fat around organs, which we know may have um, an impact on our metabolic health from our liver function, insulin, pancreas. So, um, and risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, all of these things. So that's number, number one. Number two, for your own reference, I would actually do a picture, a posture picture, um, so we are stood on, side on, to have a look, to, to compare to. And I say this not just from a point of view of, oh, have I got leaner or thinner or whatever, but also, what what have my posture done? Where's my neck? Where's my shoulders? And my shoulders, because often some of the ladies who do that go, oh, wow, look at my shoulders. Look how I hold myself now. They actually say things that are, that are non-weight related sometimes, which is nice to see. Oh, okay, yeah, that's those rows we've been doing in session, that. Oh, yeah, in any case, oh, yeah, yeah, we do that one, the rows, the bringing the shoulders back. So I've been pulling more. That's what you've been talking about, bringing my core in, bum back. All of these things we start to talk about. I feel like I'm doing it more in everyday practice now. Now, there's just some things that men don't want to talk about more so the food side of it. What have you tried before? What are you doing? Because quite often I might hear, you know, I'm eating everything, it's healthy. And and there's a difference between health and weight loss. And I think this is an important to distinguish. And healthy foods could be eating avocado, eating yogurt late at night to get my, um, as I do, to get my good bacteria in and keep me full. But actually, if I'm going for weight loss here, do I really need it is the question. I could eat something very healthy, but is it healthy if I don't need it, if it doesn't align with my goals? And actually, this is where I actually get people to track their food for a few days, whether that's writing down or actually more specifically tracking so I can see their protein, their fat, their carbohydrates, their fiber, um, water intake, total calories. And even for a few days, I think this is a really educational thing to see, you know, if you're at this stage where you're like, I'm doing everything and not seeing results, because that's exhausting too. As exhausting and as annoying as tracking calories is, it's exhausting the opposite too. I'm not saying you have to do this, but if you've reached a point where you're like, a bit confused, don't really have too many answers, I would recommend doing this for three days. At least. If you can do it for two weeks, great. And then see what happens to your weight, to those measures. Did you see any difference? Or did, if nothing changed, we've now found your maintenance, which is great because you've got some data. Now we can work off of that. Now we have a, a pattern. And that's where that coaching comes in. So I hope that helps. And if, you, if you're tracking, if you're not, let me know in the comments. How are you finding that? Are you finding it easy, hard? Do you find it stressful? I'd love to know because you know, I've given examples of people. They start tracking. By default, they often eat less because they're writing it down before they have it or they, they're tracking it before they have it which again makes our mind think do I actually need this rather than that odd lick that taste that bite which often we don't know that we're doing me included kids dinners ah. anyway I hope that helps
Busy day today, exciting stuff going on. I will see you soon. Have an awesome Saturday. Take care.